And we got we got another we got another okay. guest who man, this is this is this this is the guy who actually needs no introduction because that was one of his names, Mister Needs No Intro. When he first got A and T, his first game, he introduced himself loud and clear with one of one of the most dominant performances uh, uh, as a as a defensive end. I think he had like three sacks and a couple of sacks for lo- uh, uh, tackles for loss and. He was in the backfield all day for a big win against Elon. Y'all might remember that. That's the first time we hey. saw this gentleman. Then he also yeah. later, later he rebranded himself, right? Towards um towards the end of his senior year. He put away that 93 jersey and became a super villain known as the Sinister Six. So let me bring to the to Blue Death inside the valley for the first time. Special guest, Mr. Jermaine McDaniel Jr. Man, what's going on, man? <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Man. Hey, how y'all doing? It's, it's right. an honor. It's uh-huh. an honor, man. How you, can you hear so me? good, man. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I hear y'all pretty good. Man. So so listen, man. First of all, um, I just I just want to thank you for coming out because I've been wanting to talk to you for a minute. Uh, I used to see you at the press conference a little bit here and there, but I never really got a chance to build with you one-on-one. And... Uh, you know, we're gonna talk about what you're doing now and all your, your exploits going to you know the USFL and pursuing that that football career on the next level. But um, first of all, we just gotta take a trip down memory lane, man. And you were, like I said, just uh well, how would you describe him, Doug, on, on that edge? Give 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 me a description of what this man was on the edge. All right. Well, he's he's a game changer and a playmaker, first off. You know, he's a guy that's when he's on the field. Uh, he's definitely a difference maker. So, you know, you're going to have to count for him from the offensive standpoint. But uh, during this time at AT, like you said, from his first game, he's one of those guys that if he was out there, he was going to put some pressure on the quarterback and, 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 and cause some problems for the offense. So, I mean, he's a guy, you, you love to have him out there. You know, we missed him when he wasn't out there. But, man, I'm telling you, one of those guys that, that you will always remember um, as, as, as a Blue Death Valley guy, one of those uh, – Blue Death defense guys that, that'll be his name should be up in the rafters somewhere what he's done, you know. Yeah. So so look so looking back at your career, man, how would you like to be remembered for, for what you accomplished when you got got the ANT? So really, so as long as y'all remember me as a dog, that's all I'm cool with. Like, <laughs> like I ain't gonna say I was like the best, <laughs> but like I was a dog. That's the only time I can like, you know what I'm saying, test to like, you know what I'm saying? Every time I was out there, like you gonna get everything out of me, so I don't know about it, anything else other than that, but as long as y'all remember me as a dog, I'm cool with it. Well, that, that's going to be pretty easy. Let me show a clip real quick of you in action, man. This is uh, a third and eight. First year. Bartolo looking, looking, and he is flushed from the pocket, trapped and sacked. Back at the 18 yard line. <laughs> it's Jermaine McDaniel. Jermaine McDaniel. And Daniel and Robert Porsche both get a piece of the action. Relentless pursuit by the both of them off the edges. Man, a scheduled minute. <laughs> and so, and so that that was kind of you in a nutshell, man. Because you didn't, you 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 came off with so much reckless abandon, but you had so much pursuit. It was relentless. Like you didn't give up. You didn't give him right then and there. If he still had that ball, you was gonna find some way to get to him. It's, yeah, man. It's, so, what, what, what you, so where did you de- kind of develop that tenacity, man? Where, where do you think that comes from? Well, right where I'm at right now. Shit. <laughs> okay. Getting <laughs> really loud right now, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm always like, you know, like when it comes to this football, this crap thing, like, you know, like I'm always be trying to perfect it because it's something that then like feel like it's innate with him, you know, so. When it comes to like this, like this is the only thing I think about. So either I'm out here, I'm out of that field, and like especially right now, cause you know, I done made it to the point where like I ain't at the point where I'm at supposed to be, but you know what I'm saying, like I'm getting there. So and then like it's the only thing like you got to do, cause it's your job, now. You feel me? So I ain't got no other choice. Right. Well, Jermaine, talk to me, man. You, me? I love, you, you, those, you know what I'm saying? I love that. You one of those guys that when you transferred in, man, I feel like you really embraced being at ANT um, on the field. I feel like the guys kind of had to catch up to your speed. I mean, you played faster than a lot of guys, and I think it made the defense better because everybody had to get up to your speed. If they want to get a sack, 
uh, not just heralding the boys, but if they want to get back there in the backfield, get a sack, they had to get there before you did, right? And I feel like you kind of uh, you, you brought that extra component to the team. But talk about off the field. What was no, it can, like transitioning? Talk, talk to me about off the field. What was it like transitioning at A&T? Um, you're still a guy I see around. I see you out in the mall hanging out with the boys, and I, and I love that you're still pouring into some of those guys. Um, oh, yeah, tell me about sure. what, what you love oh. most about being an Aggie, man, because we – I feel like you embraced it. You fully embraced it when you got here. Uh, when I first got there, it was just like, you know, the family atmosphere. You know, like, everybody took me in. It was kind of like, you no, know, I wasn't the only person, like, in the same position that I was in. You know what I'm saying? There was other transfers who I either already transferred in or transferred in the same time I did. And we kind of had the same mindset, like, this was a fresh start. And the A&T, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a gold mine, so... You know what I'm saying? You better pick out some diamonds while you're here. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why, I, you know what I'm saying? Kane, you got me a ring. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shoot. You better go. Hey, strike when the iron hot. You feel me? So, you know, <laughs> they want no really I like it. nothing to it. But, hey, so, you know, that. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, nah, like, when it comes, like, that, like I about to say, like, when it comes, like, still spend his time with the guy, like, it's a, like, it's a bond. Like, you know what I'm saying? This thing, like, how they say, Aggie family, Aggie pride, like, I think it carries on with you after this. So, you know what I'm saying? It'll always be my dog. So, like, now I'm a fan. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't play for AT anymore so I can be an actual fan and I can, like, you know what I'm saying, actually just cheer on my dog, like, become full, like, off, like, the, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, let's go. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's a better sure. experience now. Well, look, with that, be, with that being said, okay, um, there's a, a, a new coach in, in town. You know, we got, we got the Brown administration. And he's changing the defense from which what you guys played in the four three. Now we're gonna be kind of running mm -hmm. a three four. It's gonna be it's gonna be multiple, but mostly I guess that base is gonna be a three four. Do you think right. that 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 that's almost would have been a great fit for you? Because you to me seem like the, the prototype three four edge rusher. Yeah, yeah, for sure. When I was at out, that's exactly what they had me at, like my freshman year. And right. then it's kind of like I kind of like once I came here, kind of like I could put my hand in the dirt. So I could I'm more versatile either way, but. When I first like came into college, I like and where I'm at now, I'm a rush in, so I'm staying up most of the time. But with Coach uh Coach Brown defense, yeah, I'm gonna see something special, man, because that type of defense, that type of defense is, you know what I'm saying, key in this league because you already got somebody that can stand up, see everything, see all the motions, you know what I'm saying, see a puller, you know what I'm saying, he can react fast. That guy who's standing up, you're gonna see a dog out of him. You feel me? So, That's hey, easy. No. So look at you, man. It's to, to the people who don't really understand that 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 subtle difference between the four three and the three four. How is like your position? How does that change by just putting your hand in the dirt or just being able to stand up? What? Why is that such a major difference? Cause now, like the quarterback, like quarterback reads everything, even the line. Like you know, what I'm saying, if I got my hand in the dirt, you can disguise me. You know, what I'm saying, going in the coverage. But when I'm standing up. You, you don't really know if I'm coming off, who coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about, you know what I'm saying, your position on the field and that and that person standing up. Like, as I said, he got the vision to see everything. With my hand in the dirt, it's going to – like, I don't see the uh, pool until I get across the line. You feel what I'm saying? I'm standing up. It's going to be easy to read. You feel me? So, it's all about – and then the back end, like, it helps with that too. It helps with coverage. You feel what I'm saying? You can you can rush with three if you got good. You know what I'm saying? We got dogs. So, getting home with three ain't going to be no problem. So we, we lose you, we lose my man Harold, okay, but we still got a few heavy hitters from, from when you played. Um, talk about yeah. some of the guys who you expect to carry that torch. Because I know um, we got Henry Daniels back, right? Henry mm -hmm. Daniels, we got Janoris Robinson. Who are some other guys who you think that were on, on, you know, already on, on, the, on the staff, on the roster, who are going to make a nice impact in 2023? Well, one thing y'all gonna hear for sure, you know, that's gonna ring in y'all ears. I ain't hear before Javon Armstrong. You know what I'm saying? Like Javon, he's a person who Armstrong ain't Grady. Javon Armstrong. Yes, he gonna he gonna show up a lot on y'all screen. You know what I'm saying? He's the person that's playing that position, that dog position that's standing up. You know what I'm saying? Him and some other cats. You got Mitchell also playing that. He's the old transfer that came in. The person that's playing on dogs, and you also got Janoris Robinson on the, who gonna be on the other side. He's gonna be coming into his own this year because you know what I'm saying, he ain't gotta watch me and Devin. Hunt for the second, then he, you know what I'm saying, end up with an interception or something like that. Now it's his, it's his game. He gonna take over. You feel me? He yeah. gonna be a monster. But them guys who coming off when y'all ain't here yet, you got also Chris Allen. You got the guys inside, like 
Anthony Harrison, like all them guys, like you ain't got some young dog. I went out this Saturday. I was out there last Saturday on the on when they practice. You know what I'm saying? I saw I saw how organized it was, how they ran their practices, and how like much different it is, and how much they got done with just a simple like differences that Coach Brown, that coach staff made. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. it's gonna be man, it's gonna be a special thing when y'all see it. Hey, you got any uh, opinions of Coach uh, Jay Z, Mr. Josh uh, Zeidenberg, new, the new defense coordinator? No, nah, no, nah, I, I ain't really got no opinion. I heard, I just heard, you know what I'm saying? He's he a good coach, you know what I'm saying? I heard okay. good things about all the coaches. Stuff. But I ain't yeah, hearing yeah. nothing like, now nah, okay. I was raised my head. I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm real, I'm real happy about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm excited. Like, I want y'all to be as excited as I'm excited because I'm excited. Okay. You, you feel me? Okay. Okay, I can take that. And Craig, some of those names. A lot names, of people got a data, man. Yeah. And see, Craig, a lot of those names that he just rolled off, you you would tell me about. You you know that we got some some uh some some dark horses about who, who yeah. emerge. Yeah, we got the this the, the, this defense is gonna highlight what we do best, I think. It's gonna it really you got guys, uh it's like Jermaine said, you got guys who really like to get after it. Uh speed. On this defense, I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. This is going to be a real fast, physical type of uh, uh, defense that's going to, like, you won't know where it's coming from. It will not be predictable. Mm. He, he talked about speed, Craig. Well, speed was Jermaine's, that, that was his, his, super, his superpower because uh, I, I, don't, I can't remember too many guys who just put their hand in the dirt and just come off that ground, come off that edge. Uh, just just so quick. I I know in that uh, that that first game you had down here against Elon, when you had like this out of body experience performance, you had three sacks. I think all of them was in, like the fourth quarter almost to to, to close that show down. Yeah. And, and, and you could almost see it in that quarterback's eyes, man. Like he didn't even want to go through his progressions. As soon as he got the ball, he was like, "Where's ninety three at? Where's ninety three at?" And, and and before he could even turn to find you, was he was putting down the dirt, man. Talk about that Elon game, because that was one that I'll never forget. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for that game, man, because, like, it's a microcosm, like, everything I was just saying. Like, yeah. in your darkest times, you're going to see, like, a shine of light, man. You know what I'm saying? I was just coming, like, transferring everything, like, coming back home, and it was, like, one of the type of things where I got to, like, I got to, like, I'm holding everything in, so I got to let it go. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in a bad spot. Like, everybody and the people doubted me. You know what I'm saying? So, Everybody down, like, you know what I'm saying, this team right here, and I'm telling you, like, in that time, you're going to see something special. So, in that, like, in that game, like, shoot, it was Devin fault. You feel me? It was really Devin hell fault. So, he ain't getting the set. And I'm just looking like, you know what I'm saying, one of my one of my contacts fell out. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying, we seeing that halftime. And I'm seeing that with one eye. And I'm just looking at Devin. And I'm like, man, I got to catch up, you know. I got to – I can't I can't just – you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a competition. Like, I love Devin the Ducker. You know what I'm saying? He was the – like, that's my dog, man. Like, he was like my brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the most person I ever seen, like, you know what I'm saying? That it'll push me to another level. You know what I'm saying? So, it was every day. So, that game, it was like, you know what I'm saying? I can't, like, fall to it. So, he, he, he was the reason for all that, man. I ain't going to lie to you. It was him. And so, y'all always had a kind of connection because uh, he made big plays. He had he had that walk-off, uh, that pick six against South yeah. Carolina State. That was a crazy yeah. play to steal the game. But, but. Last year, your, your senior season, y'all both rebranded because you changed your number to six, and he changed his number to three, right? Right, right. You so, know what so, I'm so, one of those type of things. So, so, what, what, what was that all about, man? Can, can give us a lowdown. Why did y'all change y'all number, you know, after the fact so late in the game? I, I don't know. Like, with me, it was just like, you know, it was kind of like that time where, you know what I'm saying, if you could – it's your last time going at this. You never know. So, if you could do one thing, what would you do? I said, sure, I'd probably change my number. <laughs> and then we probably looked at each other like, you know what I'm saying? Then we both dogs. So, you know what I'm saying? It it kind of looked kind of crazy. You see a six on one end, a three on the other. Oh, they, yeah. both, they both standing at you looking at you like some dogs about to hunt you. You know what I'm saying? So, it looks a little different, you know? Yeah, man. And so, um, you know, we can go through all your stats and all your accolades. You were, you were a conference player of the year a bunch of times. Um. And after after your career was was wrapping up, you got an invite to go to the HBCU Legacy Bowl, right? Right. And, and that was a nice showcase for you. And that's when you kind of let the people who didn't really know you from a, a national perspective, you kind of let them know who you were. Let me show you this clip real quick. Of, uh, uh, they get the playoff. Perry 
Quick step. Oh, big time pressure. Wow, he really had no shot. And is that Jermaine McDaniel from North Carolina A&T? Yes, it is. Had a, had a terrific combine. I mean, this kid went through things with such effort oh, no. to his detriment. And you know what it's like, Bucky, at a combine. Sometimes you try so hard and go so hard, you get yourself a little bit out of whack and out of your element instead of being fluid and smooth. But he was fluid and smooth on that pass rush. And you know what, man? If I, if I, if I didn't know better, you look like almost like a Michael Strahan right there, Doug. Didn't he look like, like Strahan? <laughs> Listen, did, how, man. Much, how, much, how much weight did you gain for, before that bowl? To really be honest with you, I was like only 240, but right now I'm 250 like that. But that was the biggest I was at the time, though. Right, 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 right. Do you, do you think you wish you would have played at that weight here at A&T or was this not really possible? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, okay. It'll be like, man, because like how you say, like I play with reckless abandonment, man. So like sometimes, like, you know what I'm saying, you get a look, that pound get a little too, so. It would be nice to have a little bit of weight to back that up. Yeah, yeah. And so after that Legacy Bowl, you would kind of like stole the show. Everyone was talking about who is this guy from A&T. Um, you know, it was on the NFL Network and everybody was commenting. And then you end up getting uh, drafted by the uh, in the USFL, right? Like the 53rd overall pick right, by, right. The, by the New Jersey Generals, right? And so uh, what was that like, yeah. man? Man, we was practicing, man. I didn't even know that happened like I got drafted. Like, <laughs> it was after the uh, one of the Legacy Bowl practices. Like, I'm getting a whole bunch of calls. And my D-line coach from Dillon, like, Coach Ray, he had called me. He was like, he said, congratulations. I was like, like, I'm trying to, like, he's talking about the Legacy Bowl. And then, like, I'm listening. No, he just got drafted to the USFL. I said, for real? And then I'm like, oh, they did text me too, didn't they? I said, I just didn't, like, you know, but they said that was off the combine, man. They said, like, after the con, like, like, I didn't, like, it wasn't originally expected for me to go on the draft, but after the combine, like, shoot, they said, they picked me up, and I'm, like, I'm really appreciative, man, because, like, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to play my, I'm going to play my tail off for them, man. They just don't know. So, listen, before we go into that, talk about that combine. So, give me some, give me some numbers of what you was doing, because it, you had, it must have been pretty impressive if you, if you uh got a phone call strictly off your, your combine your performance. So, 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 give me, give me some, uh, some numbers out here. What was, what, what was you doing to turn heads? Uh, well, to be honest with you, it wasn't. It was like my bribes were pretty cool. You like my numbers was like I want to say pedestrian, but they were pretty normal for my position. Like I ain't had nothing outstanding, but mm -hmm. every more the more the individual drills. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I went yeah. through like. Like, that was my last time ever going through those drills. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was more, you know, like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to turn around and run back to the beginning and do it again. And no matter how many times you want me to do it. You know what I'm saying? It was like, no type of thing. Like, y'all going to see, like, I want y'all to just see me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with y'all, I knew my numbers weren't going to stand out unless I just happen to, you know what I'm saying, just wild myself. So it's more like I got shown that, you know what I'm saying, I'm a football player, you know? Right, right. Do you, do you do any like cross training? Do you box or anything? Like, because you seem like you got like a like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. My... You do box? Yeah, no, nah, me and my yeah, me and my cousin box. We in the gym right now. We got boxing all the time going on. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. You know what? Because I can, I can recognize that sweet science, and I knew this with your hand placement and some of your your quick twitch. I was like, this guy must know himself around the ring, man. So, so yeah, that that does yeah, that man. does make sense. It's all about. It. Yeah, it's all about how Tim Duncan used to swim. He said that used to happen with his game, man. I try to, like, just emulate whatever I can into the game. Gotcha, gotcha. And so so right now, are you are you still with the uh, the, the general organization? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still got I got this next season up with them, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, if, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where the journey going to take me, but I'm always heading up to that next level. So, you know. After this, I w I'm hoping to win the championship with the Generals this next coming year. You know what I'm saying? Bring up, bring home another ring, and you know what I'm saying. We see what's next. So we we got to add you to our website because we got like a tracker for all the guys who are in the NFL, and so we got to we got to have with Jermaine McDaniel's tracker because you you in the U.S. You you know you everybody who's kind of playing in the pros. So you you in the you in the USFL now. We got a couple guys in the XFL, a few in the NFL. Right. But as long as you get a chance to play after. 
your college days are over. It's a blessing, and you know you got to just pursue all your your everything you got, man. Everything you got. Right. We definitely we definitely are proud of you, Craig. Real quick, give give me a comp, man. Give give me somebody who Jermaine McDaniel Jr. reminds you from yesteryear. Who 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 is a, a old school guy who who, who he reminds hmm. you? Of? Uh, old school guy that he reminds me of. Um, oh gosh, uh, man, you <laughs> that's, that's a lot of good ones, but um, he re- well, he not not from a deep, not not from a position standpoint, but the way he plays, yeah, Harry Carson. That's exactly who you remind me of is Harry oh. Carson for the Giants, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh huh. And that was the Hall of Fame. Same about, about the same size, got the same same skill set. Guys just explode and 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 get it done. You know, everybody talked about Lawrence Taylor, but the reason why Lawrence Taylor got so many got got a lot of the hits was because they were running away from Harry Carson on the other side. So yeah, I that that's who that, you know that's the guy who stands out to me. Harry Carson, that's a good one. Hey, so who, do you pattern your game after anybody, or you pick and choose a couple guys that you kind of emulate? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I got, you know, Von Miller and then Demarcus Ware, and oh yeah, you know, straight, straight wide, like you know, also TJ Watt, and then Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa. You know, what I'm saying guys like you know, what I'm saying that I feel like my game is similar to like you know, what I'm saying explosive wide, like and those guys that can you know, what I'm saying bend and just like guys that quick, you know, like I like I love those guys, I love those guys' game. Hey Doug, you had a guy. You had a guy on your team. Kind of, he he might not be as fast as as Jermaine. Uh, you remember uh, Ricky Lewis? Oh, Ricky Lewis. Yeah, yeah. He he didn't have. You know, yeah. Rick gonna get me for this. He didn't have the quick twitch that Jermaine has. Yeah. Like said, being that Jermaine has, that's that's one of his uh, attributes. Is he's so bending around that edge. But uh, R- Ricky would be a good comp in terms of, of strength and effort. Yeah, uh, and aggressiveness, but yeah, that's that's one of the biggest compliments we can give you, man. Usually, I have another Aggie that I can give you a comp to. You kind of in the mode of you, you, you made a new mode. We got to comp guys to you from here on out, man. We got to see who compares to you, but uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, different, I, I, different, I different type of freak on the, on the edge, man, for sure. <laughs> yeah, hey, they yeah, got really. some guys, man. There gonna be some guys coming up pretty soon. They all gonna be like, man, I ain't gonna, I ain't, man, I'm telling you, man, they go some guys special coming up, man. Like, not even on the D line, but like. You know what I'm saying? On the other side of the ball, man, you got three quarterbacks that I know can shine. You know, man, I, yeah, it's going to be special. So, so, so everybody's kind of being poor mouth and they're saying, oh, you know, this is going to be a rebuilding year. AT is going to nah. finish in the bottom. So, so tell these fans, these, these, uh, these, uh, Debbie, Debbie doubters, what, what, what do you think this year is going to bring for AT football? Well, if you don't jump on the ship now, don't be mad because it's going too fast and we ain't going to crash. So, you feel me like, you better jump on it now because once that thing ain't rolling, we gone. You feel me like, hey, I like that. Uh, I like I'm that. on the train first. Like, I'm the, hey, if, I'm, I'm not conductor, but that's, Brown, that's Coach Brown. But I'm on the first, I'm on the first suite, on the first car. Like, hey, y'all, you, you seat in the back. You feel me? I've been, I been hey, here. That's it, man. That's well, you more than it. welcome at the tailgate, man. You know, you still, you still always welcome, man. So come on, oh yeah, I'll be there. I'm pre- I'm the game, up, man. So. We got you, we got you, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you, man. All right, so look, we're gonna keep following you, especially when you uh, in 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 uh, Jersey with the USFL killing uh, them, uh, those uh, USFL offensive tackles. Give, give them that, yeah. that look that Elon had that that first game. So, but until then, how can we stay up on what you got going on, and like, what's the best way? Because before, man, I'll be honest with you, I was searching for you on social media, on Twitter. I couldn't really find you, but I I, 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 I saw you, and I just shot, shot a hope out there, and you, and you answered. So so where else can people see you, uh, you know, if, if, if keep up with what you got going on? Well, man, well, right now, like, in the off season, I'm just still training and going, like, in and out. But if you, I got a Twitter now. The only reason I got social media is because, like, you know, other like brand and stuff like now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. Instagram. I got you know. So I got a whole bunch of links, man. Like, shoot, I do comedy. I rap, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 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 right oh, now. oh, yeah. oh, 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 Stop the you rap. <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, I, don't, I don't care about the rapping. All, all y'all clowns was rapping back then. But you doing you doing comedy? You doing stand up yeah. comedy? 
Yeah, I do stand up. Yeah. Okay, look, I ain't gonna, oh, I ain't gonna put, you, I ain't gonna put you on the spot, but you gotta shoot me a link of when you was on stage, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> evaluate it, and if I chuckle, I share it with the fan base. But yeah, uh, man, yeah. Uh, I got you. It's on YouTube and all. <laughs> Okay, the very for day of me doing the, the, the stand up comedy. That's something I would never have imagined, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's hey, listen, that's why we do this podcast, man. Because every time we get somebody on there and we find out something every interesting, time. one thing if you are a, a, a high school or or, or uh, somebody with a trench report will think about coming to AT, just look at some of the guests we've had on here. It's not just meatheads and, and just guys who just you know, right. just stiff. You know, no personality. We got so much flair. You come to A and T, you're gonna you're gonna develop. It's not just you know academics, not just on that field, but your whole persona. You're gonna grow, and that's what we. You know, an Aggie man is a unique person. When you become oh, an for Aggie, sure, for sure. man, you, you you don't look at the world the same. The world don't look at you the same. And uh, man, that's awesome. I, I man, I'm thrilled to be able to talk to you, man. I'm going to stalk you during football season. Because you know too much about that damn uh, defensive line. You know too much about the C4 defense. I got to get you on. We, we do this thing called Blue Death After Dark. So after yeah. every game, we come in here and we, we just we just have a little uh, – just a, a bull session, session. And we just talk about the game and find out. And I'm going to get you on there as a, as a special guy. You're going to tell us what we what we didn't see and what was really happening. And I'm going to hold you to that. You're going gonna to have to enlighten us with some of your football IQ. Yeah, yeah. Call me watching every game, man. For I sure. hear you. I hear you. I hear you. All right, man. So we're gonna we're gonna follow you on Twitter. And you say you say Instagram or just Twitter right now. Yeah, you can do uh I got TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, I got it all now because TikTok, know, got, oh man. Yeah, I okay. got I got it all, man. So yeah, yeah and, like and, you know, like I I've like I got like I got a link in my Twitter, like I got all my links in it and stuff like that. Like y'all go check it out. Like you feel me? I got everything on there, man. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna comb through your social media, and if I like some of your jokes, I'm gonna present those to the boy. I gotta I gotta I gotta I can't commit to it right now, cause I cause right now you you one of the scariest dudes I know, so I can't imagine you being funny. So no, nah, no, nah, it ain't one of those type of things where like I'm big and you gonna laugh or I'm gonna make you laugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gonna have a choice, you know. All right, so, so y'all already That's starting off pretty stuff, good. Man. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. All right, I love this. Right, man. Hey, thank you so. Hey, this this has been fun, man. I really appreciate this. But uh, yes, man, sir, of course, appreciate so it. We, we we definitely gonna uh, stay up, man. You have a good night, and this has been Jermaine Big Day. We caught we first we was calling Mister. Mr. Need no introduction. Then we start calling the Sinister Six. And then you got hurt. Craig, I think I think Craig and Doug was calling you the, the milkman because you was on a milk carton for a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. That was Doug. That was Doug. That was all you. That was all you. Yeah, I, 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 I made sure when I come back, I, I made sure I ain't only nothing out. <laughs> all right, man. Oh, man. Hey, hey it's, been a, it's been a pleasure, man. You take care, bro. Man, y'all yeah, too, man. man. Appreciate y'all, man. All right.